Pittsburgh tonight. State police confirming that two bodies have been found in the ruins of a house destroyed by fire. And tonight, both fire investigators and the state police department's major crimes unit are working to determine a cause. News 8's Tina Detail live in Griswold this evening with late details. Tina? Well, Keith and Sonia, just before 5 o'clock, those state police investigators reopened this road, giving us our first look at what family and friends and firefighters saw all day long. A home totally destroyed and a family lost. It was well engulfed in flames this morning, and so the risk factor for our first responders was more than usual. Griswold First Electman Philip Anthony says those firefighters who were second to none had the grim task of trying to recover the bodies of Wayne and Linda Goyette from their now completely destroyed home. A balloon and flowers marking their loss. Their son, who was initially feared lost to this fire, was not home when tragedy struck. He, along with family and friends, came to what was left of the Tatro Road home, trying to deal with the magnitude of this loss. Those who walked by us said of the Goyettes, they were much loved, a close-knit neighborhood and community whose hearts go out to this well-known and well-respected family. That we're a close-knit town, we're very uh, tight with each other, and any tragedy such as this rallies our residents. Our history speaks for itself. This community once again giving support to this very same family. We're told the Goyettes have three or rather four grown children. They lost a son to a motorcycle accident back in the 90s. We're live in Griswold, Tina Detell, News 8.